Hi, I'm Nate and you're watching Photo Learningism. So you've got this big video project, lots of different videos, all built around the same idea where you started recording an event, different vantage points, but it was all recorded simultaneously. You have to synchronize them, you have to edit them simultaneously, and you have to keep track of major points in the story along the way. How do you do that? Let's look how to do that in Caden Live right now. So once again, I'm Nate, this is Photo Learningism. Thank you so much for joining in. If it's your first time here, I do a lot of work on this channel to surface the cheap or free art technologies so that you can know about them and make good use of them. Thanks for being here. So once again, I know this is another Caden Live video. It's a great tool, it's free. I like to find ways to do powerful things using free tools that you don't have to pay for. So. That's where this comes from. And today I really wanted to dig into this idea of how do we work with large scale projects, things that maybe were recorded from a number of vantage points, but they all have to be synchronized. You have to edit them effectively with many, many tracks stacked on top of each other and figure out where the best shot is. And then also keep track of the major points throughout your story arc. So let's talk about how we're gonna do that. All right, so in Caden Live, just dropping right in here, the best way to synchronize is actually quite simple you can look at your audio waveforms and i did some talks about how to work with audio i'll put a card up if you're curious to go check out how to activate the uh, the waveforms uh, in the audio video so you can see how to do that but once you have it let's expand this out i would like to use this major track point here and a typical use case here would literally be if you notice the productions when they have the clapper and they say mark or they have a a fixed point where they can identify this is the the sync point of this the scene that's actually what it is i would suggest you do that if you're going to shoot something that needs to be synchronized, that you have the, the common clap point, the sync point. If you don't have that, then look in your waveform for that common pattern that, that you can run up against and match everything up to, and then come to it here in, in Kden Live. And once you have the scrubber put up against it, what you can do is in the audio portion, right click it, and there is a set audio reference option. So do that. And then for these other areas that may share that same audio, because ideally the cameras are all recording the same bit of audio. This is something recorded all at once. We're thinking things like weddings or major events where you don't get second takes, where you may have recorded it from a number of, thing, uh, number of vantage points and they all have to be synchronized. So now I can go to another cut, another clip, and I could say align audio to reference. And you'll notice that just jumped to the point that I, I did, it's already done. I can do that with any of these that share the common audio track uh, that may have been the same event. I can do the same thing, uh, aligned to audio reference. And again, this is done. Those are all synchronized based on the common waveform pattern. So we can check that box, all right? Next thing up is how do we edit all these different feeds and right now we're starting with kind of a small number and we have three we can make it bigger but let's keep the example simple for now is i'm going to come up here to the the monitor i'm going to right click and say mm, and track off the box from multi-track view and you'll see how this already looks a little bit different where now i can see all three of the feeds as they're happening so i can make edits into all of these things and figure out where my best shot is going to be and then use the timeline to edit and cut to the appropriate shot that I want, but I can see them all here. I don't have to, to really expose and go through or disable track when I have time to see them. I can very easily see them all, all at the same time and find my best shot right here. So this, I don't think has a limit for the view screen. I've, I've tried adding up to seven, but it probably goes higher where I can just keep inserting tracks. And you can kind of watch what happens here as I do this where you'll notice that the, the screen has scaled up here. So it, it's ready to accommodate more clips, more things that I could edit and work from and begin to, to put into play here. Now it's giving me a little trouble here because I don't have audio tracks to match up with this. So I'm gonna put those in here as well. And then we can kind of see this taking shape a little bit more. There we go. Every video that has audio has to have a, 
a buddy audio track so that you can put the clip in line. And now we can see that clip in there as well. So this just kind of goes on and on and on. The only downside is that the viewable space will get smaller per shot. So if you're gonna do a lot of these, you need to kind of really drag out and give that, that monitor space as much as you possibly can uh, to really get the most out of that or just have an incredibly large monitor, whatever best suits you. Um, but that's a way that you can, again, work in a synchronized fashion and see all your, your, your tracks and cut, make the best cut that you want to um, working all, all on the same track. So we synchronized, we have worked on the multi-track viewing, and the last piece is just adding in guidelines. Now, if I find a point in my story which is important, I can right click up in here and I can say add or remove guide. Guides are pretty cool because you can jump to them really at any point. If I find myself editing in another piece of the project, I can come up here into the monitor and right click and say go to guide. And you, there's only one for the moment, so it's going to hop to there, but it aligned the scrubber to my guide. I can double click on that guide and I can name it something else uh, where I could say scene to start. And you can give it a custom color too from here to make it more clear if that's easier. Uh, so again, if I drag somewhere else, go to my playback, go to guide, and now you see the name is updated and it'll cut over to where that is. And you could do this again and again and again where I add another guide and I maybe name this something else. And you have gotta get the idea here. I don't have to do this so much in repetition, but you can see how this could be very valuable where I could be working in a very large multi-track scale process where I can see everything and now I can actually go to these guides that I've set to figure out where in those scenes I want to jump to. So that's really cool. These are basic concepts once you understand when they are, and this is short, but they're very powerful because they enable you to do so much at once and get it done quickly. You saw how fast we had that synchronized once we figured out the common point in our audio. So I really do hope that's that's helpful. I know this is short, but I wanted to just tackle this concept because it can greatly improve your ability to edit large scale and multi-track projects and, and give you that much more value in a tool that is absolutely free. This is Caden Live once again. I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you can download it and try it out if you're curious to find out more about it. Also, I've done a ton of videos, so I'm gonna put a playlist up somewhere uh, if I get my fingers in the right direction so you can find out more about the uh, amazing features this tool has to offer. So I'm Nate, this has been Photo Learningism. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. Please uh, give me a thumbs up if this was useful to you and subscribe if you haven't done that already. And also leave a comment, ask a question, join the community of learners and be a part of like-minded creators so that we can share our experiences and grow stronger together. Thanks again. I will see you at the next video. This big project, you want to do it with open source, free tools if possible. There's a lot of video projects. This is not going the way I want it to.